afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane Master, propaganda hero of Defender of the Fatherland, your host. We're off here to a 1 versus 1 with the balance preview mode, by the way. Yes, indeed, 1.4 here. We got in the South Frost fighting for the Orbit Commander Vest for Deutschland here, fighting for the 5th SS Panzer Division Viking versus in the North. We got Finn Deed fighting for the Soviet Russia Union, for Socialism, life. for the Rodina. Fighting here for the 7th Guards Rifle Division. We got here Fultz Kuvang side here for Frost. Well, after the Fultz Guards got Stuart Pioneer setting up here, moving it to secure these inside here for Angerwell. Tend to be a pretty sort of standard move to go for here. The Genius, the Axes, always tend to prefer the west side sort of of Angerwell since it's a lot harder for them to sneak out on you, and that way you can sort of get the most out of your longer range advantage. But there you go, pawns being seized here. Sturm Pioneers coming there with their assault rifles. Their Sturm Gewehrs contacts going down here. Pons being seized there. And we got, looks like, probably a penal trooper start there for Findeed. Utilising, of course, the penal troopers received quite a few changes throughout this uh, banished period mod already. Port Nibbing secured. More about by going up to prevent easy movement towards there. Port there secured. And a bit of milk nature also west for the cool wagon, which now, by the way, has shared veterans, which allows to veterans to up fast in theory. If you sort of use it correctly, there's also the possibility of suppressor fire, but of course, the issue might be currently the bonus isn't that good enough since it was basically given there when it actually could suppress a rule normally. So that might have to receive some change for that to be really viable. We got Constable going down there, though. More folks on the way there for Frost, and we got there, you go, the first penal trooper squad there for Findeed. Of course, they got now the three right away there, no need to upgrade or take up for that. And such, and of course the flamethrower PPS 841 package. Comes. They're going for the house there. Going to try and frustrate Frost. Then there's still the issue with the house. By the way, where you can't actually enter the front door at times, and you have to go all the way around. Though in this case, of course, he wired off the front. I guess it works this time around. Cross here, the Stone Pine. Stone Pine's by poking out here. Ludwig, there's thing is set out too far. Jaiser Ludwig, get back into cover. Nine, I can do this. I am German. Ich bin ein Übermensch. That's not how it works, Ludwig. That is not how it works. Frost there with Sam Hexplos Engineers here. We've got more people on the way there for Findeed as he pushes in aggressively there against Frost. Of course, he's securing territory on the west with the Kubelwagen. Rolling ahead there on its four little wheels. We've got more folks there slowly arriving. And there you go. People to drop the Fultz Gunners out in the open. SVT 40s versus Car 98Ks. And there you go. Engineers slowly losing out there. Petro falling over and then exploding into the air as his, the socialism just explodes out of his body, compressed. Engineers they're being pushed back. Fox Storm has looks like gonna try and flank about there. Not a bad idea there by Frost. Good move, good move. Kuban just continues to grab territory again, ensuring that even he's not territory. losing a bit here in the east, he's gaining in the west. That's a good move there by Frost. There's some good handing there. Storm Pies needs to get back into cover though. And Fox is much trying to support, but of course the position is pretty difficult for Frost to immediately deal with. And we got more people to bring in there. More SVT 40 semi-automatic rifles. Point they're being secured. And there goes Stump has a lot of trouble. You got Fultz coming up there. Tiny chance of a wipe there, but overall just small, minute even. But overall here, if indeed quite hard dug in around the car pot. But again, thanks to this though, Frost isn't getting punished too hard. And he still hasn't gained the fuel here, so if indeed will actually be behind fuel, Frost somewhat in the fuel race soon enough. We got a second cool bang there for Frost, like gonna try and again sort of push for the ability of them to sort of gain shared experience. Of course, have to see how that works out. Of course, it does require them to be somewhat close to the infantry, so that really to work. There you go, going for the fuel force, need to counterattack, push back, then you've got wire going up there. Engineers under fire. Moving around there. Fox is moving ahead. And of course, unfinished part wire will now sort of just remove itself on its own if sort of the unit goes too far away. So basically you can't just ghost it or cheese it. So theoretically this should soon sort of just dissipate. Like a bubble. A burst. There we go. Vanishes. Finally, that has been fixed. Praise the Emperor. Kuban there, the versus conscript. Second Kuban there, moving about there again. He's got all the western side. He's been able to take advantage of Indeed's heavy east focus. We also got the scout here, which I forgot to fail to mention in the news update. Actually, received less armor. Those got now better veterans, sort of later veterans bulletins or upgrades. There, sort of bonuses. Bonuses, not bulletins. They still both start with B, but for some reason my mind sort of yeah messes them up because of that. We got a fair bit of slipper up. They might go here for the Battle Group headquarters, which now doesn't require the minutes to get the flak half tag up. Comes to the half, indeed, was too long, for too long. And can Yuri make it? Yes, Yuri makes it, I think. 
Scott Cadaver rolling about. Phil the Pune Troops in, doing a lot of damage there. Close from the oh, they're going to get wiped. And that's really why I'm worrying about this upgrade with PJ to play pros. They just makes them really, really good now in a scout cars. You might notice that they can quickly do a ton of damage very quickly. I'm sure the scout cars are now easy to deal with. In fact, you don't even need the truck set up to use Panther Faust now. You just need it there. But still, I kind of worry about this. It is still an awful lot of firepower up close there now with the PPJ 41s, Flamethrowers, and the Scout Cut. It is something I do worry about there. I mean, I might be worrying too much, but I'm generally a bit worried about that. But so far, though, a lot of Panzer Faust. This Scout Cut almost down. The does survive several hits there with the Panzer Faust. There you go, Scout Cut blown to bits. Penal Troops are still about, and they've certainly already done quite a bit of damage there. Three kills. Other Penal Troops are pulling. Got Stream Pulse up. Penal Troops pushing forwards. So Virtually the one there. Which of course gives them the to the last man ability. Stuart Pony is taking man loss. We got the truck moving ahead, but then moving backwards. Cool wagons nowhere nearby to be seen to support here. Thusly not gaining those experience bonuses. That could actually, I think, done a bit there for Frost. If both cool wagons been nearby fighting with infantry, that might have been made a bit harder there than fourth indeed. And the seventh guards rifle right division. The Intel chatting Porter taking losses out in the open there to the Fortuners and the Cooper wagon. Other cool wagon moving ahead here. Truck still not setting up there for. Thrust, and now we can see from Deeds moving back, taking the western side of the map. They've got a second scout car out there, a second M3A1. Supplied plenty of a few thousand, I think, sort of to the Amer to the surge by the Americans. Used primarily by the sort of Protarasvetki, sort of a reconnaissance unit sort of for the surge. Though by reconnaissance, it's sort of more like move ahead and secure vital points than allow the rest of the army to then sort of move through it. They're sort of rather how the Russians operate, it's how that reconnaissance and force, but they're basically sort of an elitish sort of reconnaissance force against sort of meant to secure vital points until the rest of the army could sort of move through them. And they sort of operate then with a lot of sort of motorized light scout cars, for example. A little interesting detail there. I mean, I'm not fully 100% sure of that, but it's sort of, I think, roughly how it worked. I mean, I'm sure someone could sort of post some more detail that they know about it. But anyways, engines ring up the west side there. We are losing territory. Frost setting up the battle group headquarters there. Sandbags going down there in preparation for fighting ahead. We've got medics on the way there as well, though he does need them. Of course, he might want to get out a flak half track first here if he's planning that. We've got defensive doctrine fourth indeed here with the... Dushka heavy machine gun there, scout cutter fighting with the cool bank, knocking out in a matter of moments. Penal troops there close to actually two fuel points in the west being secured. Fendi, or Frost there, now focusing heavily on the east, he's losing control of the west, but he's probably fine with that for the most part. Medics almost done here for Frost forward fighting position. Cool bank grinding points in the east, there you go, scout cutter returning again, filled with the aggressively equipped penal troopers there with flame frozen lights. Kubang not a bit at top, they got the flux has been pushed back, Pino Trip coming in there as well. And veterans here too. Increased rate of fire and increased accuracy, medium calls up close, they're really going to be nasty now. In the west there, fuel point almost secure, there we got a flak half tech on the way for Frost, the 251.17, though the variant they have in the game is rather a more specific variant, which didn't see that much use, it was sort of more of a field conversion. The more regular ones didn't quite, I think, have the sort of full turn like that. At least not quite sort of uh, having sights drop for example necessary. But there were sort of several variants of the 251.17. Point there being secured, points there being secured. Nothing further here, we got forces moving out. Almost fully reinforced. He can probably pop some assault rifles soon. In fact, we are seeing several squads being equipped with his drum gear. Oh, hit a mine, and I think that was his own mine that the conscript set off. Or maybe that was otherwise a Russian mine. Either way though, someone got hurt. So there you can see a few fighting positions there from Frost. Moving up there. Sneaking about here, you know, assault rifles might want to take back that fuel point before Fendi connects it. So far, the Fendi is standing behind Frost in the fuel department. We got the flat half tag out there, the 251.17. Stuart Pine is up close. We got Frost out with the Panther as well. He could risk losing the scout car, and there you go. Archer gets off the Panther Faust and knocks out the scout car. Stuart Pine is almost right here with the penal troops. We've done quite a bit of damage. We got a heavy mortifier there, almost wiping out the Stuart Pine is. Frost here under a lot of pressure. And also noting, I think they've updated the heavy mortar icon. There's a slight tip there on the heavy mortar, uh, the mortar round there, which is the icon, which normally just looks like the regular mortar. So that's an interesting little addition there. One of the less noticeable changes that sort of happened with the banners for you, Mark. I like it, I like it. Flat half track moving up, got full together there, and of course you like to see the arc of fire of the uh, flat half track there. Sort of its full range and so on there, which is quite handy. Makes it easy to actually set up then, sort of uh, get its range right and so on there. Fulton versus Penal Troopers. 
Moving eastwards, similar sun of toxin there from frost, no spec hops, no fortifications, no breakthrough. Flak half tax ending up again there with its two centimeter flak. Which uh, from before this war started to the end of the war, pretty much there's the two centimeter flak mounted on it, not the half track itself. The main version, of course, including the more famous flak feeling, which of course mounted four of those in sort of a single gun. But while going up, the tonight used to the Russians, we got an enemy fed force setting up. You can see Frost is actually going for lots of press weapons that way, try and control for indeed aggressive infantry play with all these penal troops and the likes. Points that have been secured, looks like indeed has given up any further scout cars right away, having suffered a few losses there. We got a M42 anti tank gun up there for indeed. Fox is suppressed by the machine gun. And Sam backs up here as one can see the Frost is doing a lot there to prepare the battlefield ahead, though he's losing control in the west. It could consider you know, moving the flag half track over there with a bit of infant support, and that way dealing there with Vindeed's movements. We got tech up there for Frost, likely going to the Shrap Hunter's quarters, plus another MG34. Very interesting, very interesting. As for Vindeed, we got no further tech up, though again, he is a bit behind there, so he's going to probably line on his dock to provide him with the more support weaponry and the likes. Folks, they have a sort of penal trooper there. Ah, they're running up to them. Bit risky there, bit risky. Quick incendiary grenade there against the penal troops moving up close. There's engaged the false grenadiers. And there we go. Folks, goes pushed back here by the penal troops. Almost veteran D3. Got a flag half tank moving up there, but only an MD34 support. Bit risky there for fin uh, Frost. Bit risky. There's no chance that we could actually run into it and could it mess up with it being disabled and knocked out by an anti tank gun. So, he needs to be a bit careful there. Are Other truck is moving westwards. He's intending to set up the Shrap Hunter's quarters pretty separately from the rest of the force here. Bit risky there again if it sort of gets focused down by field guns and he again focuses on the east. That's going to be a pretty big loss there for Frost. But they're fighting here. Hey, mortar machine gun fire there versus the MU 34. Troops getting ready there to hit the calf point. Good move there. So even as he's hitting the west heart, he's now sort of getting uh, pushed back from the east. Bife indeed. Nice little change of pace there from him. Here, more fighting his rain down. Could, of course, just smoked and rushed it with some infantry, but all of his infantry is currently in the west. Trying to sort of uh, tie down Frost troops there. But there's also a single squad here, but that's not quite being used for that. Being up close, Frost is quickly being overwhelmed by a sight machine gun fire and uh, flamethrower fire. Fun fact about the PPH 41. It was actually basically a ripoff of the a Finnish sight machine gun. Which you can't quite remember the name of, but basically it was more or less an outright copy, probably with a few changes. Little fun fact there. Doesn't get talked about a lot really, but it was pretty much just a copy of that. And apparently the Germans had a nickname for it as well. I think they called it after the Russian quotation marks inventor. I think it's called the Stagin, something like that. But I'm less sure of that, just sort of reference to it, folks, on at one point in some uh, memoirs. Got two up through the western side here in the east. Again, Duska there holds up the German advance as he tries to push forwards there. In the west here, MG34 holding up behind some sandbags. Fox is covering the flank and flak half tack covering, covering further flank. And there you go. Shrap punts, of course, going up with the 37 of flak. There actually existed a sort of a twin mounted version of this one. Well, that pretty much, I think, only saw service within the borders of Germany. In fact, there were several sort of flak guns that did not really see usage beyond the German borders of Germany, usually because they were much more needed there, but also because they're so much more complex and thus required more maintenance. And thusly, it wasn't practical to take them up beyond the borders of Germany for some had like a 10.5 centimeter flak, which might have seen a bit of usage beyond that, but for some didn't see as much as say the 88 millimeter flak. Then we've seen another version of the 88 millimeter flak, which pretty much only saw service within the borders of Germany. I think they were seen like a 12 centimeter flak, which again only saw service within Germany. So that's sort of you know one of the more interesting details about flak guns. Half track has been assigned to our forces. And we actually got a flak half track there for Findeed. The M5 there provided by the Americans lend these program to the Soviets and the British. They didn't hand out the M3, which is actually technically better because you know they needed those themselves. But there you go. He's actually filling out here with double penal trooper squad, which means you get a lot of submachine guns and flamethrowers, then sort of one go, they can do a ton of damage. And that could actually be a problem there for Frost. Machine gun there still holding out though. Fox is taking fire from the Duska. We got a full on uh, mechanized assault group there from Findeed and the 7th Guard Rifle Division. Machine gun there fighting back as much as can, but he's going to get overwhelmed here now by the half tank. Fox is moving up, but still, that's a lot of firepower up close. Both of them mentioning two, by the way. There we go, MG34 just bleeding out in a matter of seconds. That could very well end up getting wiped here. 
And... Oh! Gets lucky there, gets lucky. They all occupied with the Fultz Grenadiers. That was pretty lucky there for Frost. The Abedalus of Fultz Grenadiers scored here to this very aggressive force here. Panzerfaust bugged out. It's supposed to be fixed, but clearly that isn't quite the case. And there it goes moving up. He's going to, I think, try and double satchel the Battle Group headquarters and deny it to Frost. An aggressive mechanized raid. Rife indeed. Nice. Very nice. But obviously less nice for Frost. He wasn't quite able to sort of stop it with his flak half track. And of course, the half track there probably takes advantage of the units doing damage inside. It's already gained a ton of experience there with his M5 already that way. There we go, armor piercing round. Somebody pops smoke in this case, and he attacks ground through it. He's turning the heavy machine gun, can't hit it, but he can fire at it. Very nice work there, but Frost, we've got a more howard to going up. They've just gone for fortification. The 5th SS is digging in, awaiting an infantry division to take over its position so it can attack elsewhere. In the west here, near Fultz's squad covers here, and we actually got a trench from Frost. We got a trench! Wow! You usually don't see trenches very often. He's sneaking ahead of the flak half track there. Bit risky by Frost, but no infantry support anything to spot for it. He's got this one up, but obviously the house is draining a lot of resources. He's got to use an Orbital Darden or maybe a Panzer IV. Of course, he would end up setting up for a Panther S4. If indeed, we got nothing further here from the tank of tank command as of yet. No T70s, S6s. Well, I don't know, another half track, in which case we got one just for transporting troops and reinforcing, and the other one for the anti aircraft package. And there's a few forts there. Could also consider laying down some mines here and there. Going for the car pump, but there you go, flat half track to the rescue. Fultz is moving up, and the howitzer is pretty much good to go there for Frost. 10.5 centimeters. And I think we can figure out where he's going to be shooting at. He's probably going to try and silence here if indeed uh, mortar. Yes, indeed. In fact, he's bunched up a lot of units here, so that's pretty much going to be a good chance if the mortar to do some serious damage. Oh, he got two kills there. Another series of hits there. Really some nice shooting there. I mean, Frost's all is a bit uh, low there, but uh, definitely some good hits there. And the West Fultz there being assaulted here by penal troopers and the machine gun there. This are not going to stand a chance. Got the penal troopers rushing forward. So there, 18 kills. Betch in the field already. So I think more than any individual unit there that uh, Frost has gotten kills. But again, that's probably also due partly to the half tracks and the scout car tactics there from Dieter's employed there versus Frost. Grabbing here the western fuel point. I mean, Frost has still got a big fuel load over his PD. That's probably his biggest advantage right now. That's just the sheer fuel lead. I mean, he does also have a lot of suppressive firepower, though. Flat half tracks, 234s, plus the Schwer Panzer quarters. So there's an interesting defensive strategy. Briefly considered Orbital Darden, but looks like he's actually realizing he can go for a Panther first and kind of wants the Panther first, the Panzer Kampfwagen Oh, caught here. The In this case, though. Suppressed, but also because he doesn't active research anti tank grenades. A surprising move. There you go, Kanska pushed back. And he hasn't gone for, say, another penal trooper squad just for the anti tank rifles. So that might actually be something they would need to consider at the very least. Either anti tank grenades or an anti tank penal trooper squad. I mean, that would help a bit here versus uh, Frost's flak half track. We've got the HM6M on the way there to support the 7th Guards Rifle Division. From a, I don't know, Guards Assault Battalion. Assault Gun Battalion. Flanking the Dushka there, opening up with the 2 centimeter. we got the M42 there, opening up on the flat calf track, needs to pop smoke there. No, he keeps up with it, pins down the machine gun crew. The M42 just can't hit because of the... Oh. Oh, there we go, it actually hit. There we go, another flank hit with the half track, and again doing a lot of damage there up close. Could very well get a wipe there, but no, no. Slight wrong turn there, and looks like the MD-34 escapes once more. The Wrath here of indeed mechanized infantry tactics, but still, nice to see him actually employ them. Nice to see him employ them. We are losing territory. Scott, S-6 runs into the full we got a quick panther first there from Jürgen. Damaging the engine. We got Mortify there, he's going to try and knock out the spare Panther's quarters. He's actually going for double heavy mortar there, so indeed he's bringing up some serious artillery there, of course. In response, he'll probably try and silence it with his Howard to short gun, 11 kills. Not bad, by the way. First shot misses. Come on, Gunther. Gun artillery man hits it, damn it. Half decent hit there, but still not the best. Gun artillery getting off there. Ah, terrible. In the east, though, front collapses here under Findeed's mechanized infantry tactics, spearheading a collapse there for Frost. 
who's moving up troops to hold it, but soon he'll be able to counterattack with a Panther, and if indeed will be a bit sort of uh, slightly undergunned, not fully. I mean, he's got the assault gun, he's got this, and in theory he can still, you know, go for other measures to hold it. He's still got missions for mines, though. Interestingly enough, if indeed is yet to lay down a single mine, he's got a demo charge there, though, which is quickly halted. Probably feeling a bit, bit bitter there, but there you go, Panther out there, Panzer Kampf, Wagen 5. Penal troops there again. Always on hand to make things miserable there for Frost men. Panther there engaged by the. Well, half engaged by the Panther. Quickly knocking out, no anti tank nearby. Not even a single pair of. Trip tree over there of uh, Peter S's flak after the dealing with a heavy machine gun. Asian 6 moving up there. Crushing there, penal troopers beneath its tread and wait. Frost really should consider some uh, infantry soon, some additional orbital dart. I mean, he's definitely behind here, indeed. Very. Very veteran penal troops there with 20 kills. The best Frost got so far got on his false guns with assault rifles is seven. Bit of a difference there. Out to fire again. He's really trying to silence those. Uh, no, in this case, not shooting that. He's firing at the SN6. His machine gun there getting blasted out of its trench. Taking it down. There we go. Panther attacks the heavy mortars. False guns following up there. Gunning in the demo. Close him up. Be able to get one of them. Yes. Indeed, is too slow to realize what he's going on there. There we go. Nice assault here from Frost, seizing one of Indeed's heavy mortars. Nice work there, nice work. And puts it away the infantry, trying to retake it. Indy Fed 4 there versus Penal Troopers. Orbital and almost done there for Frost. Got another Asian 6 out there for Indeed. Also they're suppressed. We got the M42 under fire. They're really trying to get that trap punted quarter swaps on they're ready. It's gonna need some light machine guns to help with them. Enemy forces are neutralizing a sector. So close again that trap punted quarters. Frost really probably wants to defend that. There we go. And Panther basically roaming up for now. Frost feeling pretty confident thanks to his Panther, his big shiny Panther Kampfwagen 5. Opening up the penal troops over with its machine guns, tearing into the rations. And primarily infantry exposed out in the open would have been dealt with by machine guns, by the way. They genuinely wouldn't have wasted shells on that. Oh, he got the Schwer Panzer quarters. Quite a loss there for Frost for Germany. Primarily, though, for Frost. Primarily, though, for Frost. We still got the Hauser there. He's going to try and get it last here. He's certainly eager to react wherever there's actual movement. He's not firing blindly. He's not just, you know, making wishes with his howitzer. He's actually trying to destroy his enemy using the howitzer. So in that regard, Frost is displaying some pretty good artillery tactics. In fact, it's pretty one of the basics which most players tend to fail at, which is shoot where you actually know the bastards are rather than where you hope they are. So thumbs up to Frost there. Almost got one. There we go. Main gun out. Main gun out. Panther there, almost threatened to one as well. 14 kills for the Fatherland. Mission 6 being pushed back. We got the half-trick there, sneak about there with AA mount now. Outmaneuvering Frost positions. Vindic going in aggressive there, might try and use it as a bait for the Panther. In the email, slow movement here in the east, we got the Haymort supporting the MD-34. Half-trick there, trying to murder out the Orbital of Darden. Panther taking public damage to the once one to 6 there, he scores a kill, scores a kill. M42 though, <laughs> successfully pushes back the Panther, and there you go, really trying to get that kill. But there we go, we got Flag half tech nearby. Can't quite seem to land a lot of hits, but still get some. Panther rolling back there, heavily damaged, but pretty confident he can take on an AA half track. Which continues its uh, mad ride here. Hey Mortify there takes up the single crew, their half tech really tearing into the heavy mortar crew. It's quarter 50 cover. There you go. We got the flag half track. They're moving in. Almost got the hay mortar, but the flag half track well successfully pushed out there. There we go. We got overdrive there from Findeed as he escapes. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, nice shooting, Dietrich. Nice shooting. Thank you. It's so easy hitting those Russian half tracks. This time here for the mid game analysis in terms of damage. They're pretty close kills wise. They're also pretty close. I would not be surprised if the majority of the kills were, in fact, from, you know, the. Uh, Penal troopers there. Some army value wise, they're pretty close there. Resource float, pretty close as well. 
both floating a bit there primarily there for frost cone it's mean nations there's also a bit of fuel there if indeed it's also floating a bit there he's considering taking up them he needs something with a bit more plantation versus the panther particularly soon getting close to vet 22 so in that regard if indeed will be forced to go for hd5s like at the very least or a ton of t34 76s but at the same time, he can be reasonably sure the panther will be left isolated. He can't expect no command panthers. And King Tiger certainly knows me a bit off there. So in that regard, you know, he's got some options then how he wants to deal with the panther. But he has to deal with it. In terms of points held, been a lot back and forth between these two players. These stalwart veterans. Right now, they're pretty close there in terms of map control. Almost 50-50 between the two. And we get like 21 there. Just notice that the panther is very quickly catching up there. That's the thing with the Orbital Commander West Panther, at least. It has actually surprisingly effective machine guns on it, which allows it to quickly go through infantry. So in that regard, had he not gone for that panther, it might actually have been quite like that edge. In fact, it's practically almost the entire edge he's got off indeed here. That's just that panther, so go figure that one out. But hey, Mortar, they're being pulled back. How to the also ready? But right now, the Frost is very much in the back for the against Vendidus. Make good use of the half track, his infantry, and also the Ocean Sixes. That way, it'll extend sort of push front Frost from several points. The only thing Vendidus probably could have done better is actually lay down some mines here and there, you know, try and stall down Frost and make it harder for Frost to counterattack. But he's got the edge there. The only real issue, though, is the Panther, which, of course, is going to be a priority there for Frost to sort of keep alive and get back in actions as much as possible, because that's really going to be, I think, driving the war effort for Frost for the next while. But again, for Findeed, tag up and mines, I think, should be the priorities. And I also think you should consider at least one more infantry squad. Either some penal troopers, maybe with those submachine guns for the last, maybe with anti tank rifles, or just more conscripts. Just that way you notice know, to add a bit more pressure there versus Frost. But I think at this point, penal troopers will be the better choice. Just, you know, to again add some more infantry, some more boots on the ground. He's also got anti tank grenades, that's neat there. But as again, tech. Bit more infantry and mines. If indeed can do that, I think you should have a good chance as long as he doesn't, you know, caught up in any really bad engagements for Frost. He needs to get back in the fight, which primarily involves getting that panther fixed. He needs to think to get up a fair panther's quarters, roll out some more tanks that way, maybe a second panther to support the first one, a panzer four, or a yak panzer, just a bit more armor, and some more orbital garden. He needs to consider laying down some mines himself. He could easily lay down S mines, for example, which could really do a lot there to think to slow down Fendi's advances at time. And just murder infantry if Frost is moving about, or if indeed he's moving about incautiously. He needs to, I think, first focus on securing the west side of the map and then sort of push up for the northern half of the eastern side there. And otherwise try and stick as much as possible to maneuvering and possibly try and see you can't just annihilate units as much as possible, you know. Set up an attack from the front, then set up something to cut off the retreat path and that way wipe it. So let's return to the fight and see what actually happens here. Let's return to the fight. Orbs on there versus penal troopers. Does not use the trench there, by the way. You actually could have done it, but instead runs straight for the uh, sandbags. Of course, he might have figured he's just going to get hit with an incendiary grenade, which is not a bad idea. Orbs on there up there, getting shot to bits. Need to retreat. MP34 for the supporting. Grabbing the northeastern victory point here. Flak half track carrying the eastern fuel point. We got another trot on the way there for Frost. And the Panthers almost good to go again for Germany. We got take up their final for indeed. A mechanized armor company. Ready to move out the finest in Russian armored technology. MG34 there versus penal troopers. Gunning them down there. Vetchi 2, which means you can quickly pin them down as well. Good work there. Fulton versus conscripts and the heavy machine gun there. We got the MG34 turning into them as well. Panther moving westwards there. Mission 6 raids are moving and kill some fascists. Preferably their tanks. We got the truck out there, will it be a battle group headquarters? We got another scrap hunter called what exactly there is Frost envisioning. Who knows? We got the Panther going out there for the machine gun, pushing that way as well, causing a collapse there of Findeed's western positions under pressure. And these are some slight progress, but now that's going to get halted here as Findeed launches a fresh counterattack, though only really with engineers in this case, the flanks of the MD is actually being covered here by the flat half track. Plus, we've got a two fire there running down as well. In this case, trying to leave some units around here. We've got the car point, Ocean 6 rolling east, but they're going to go for the Ocean 6, or the half track there, but the anti tank gun there as well. A few hits there, smoke popped. Really terrible actress there from the Ocean 6 in this case. Keeps moving though. Almost got it. Almost got it. He could use tracking here, but he, ah misses. Quickly turns a corner there. 
Sharp maneuver there by Frost. We got the Panther moving there in. The D though continues. He wants that flat half track dead. He does not use tracking though, which would allow him to sort of shoot at max strength. Instead, he gets up there, close, takes it from the flat half track, which penetrates there. He gets it, but it's too late. It's too late. The Panther's on the scene. And now it's going to get more expensive from the Asian Seek 2 to hit Team Veterans 2 there. So if indeed there, got I think a bit too eager there to knock up Frost Flak half track, and uh, this is basically what he gets for it. A knocked out assault gun as the Panther we continues forwards. 19 kills there. The vast majority of them being infantry. And tank on the next target here, the next prey for the Panther. M42 getting a penetrating hit there up close against the Panther. Hey, Morton, that's a good hit there. Veteran the fleet, by the way, but it's not going to survive there. In the west, here we got MD34 versus Penal Troopers gunning them down. Almost got the anti tanker there. So close to Veteran 2 though. So close. And there you go. Wipes out the crew. Indeed, is probably going to go for the issue 5 as soon as he can here. We've got artillery raining down here on Finti's position by the northeastern victory point. Panther moving in. Gunning up close. There you go, issue 5 on the way. That's artillery raining down. Very, very close here. 24 still. Got the MD-34 there wiped out. Quick decision in there with the penal troopers. They were almost getting knocked out there, but hey, Mortify there, heavy machine gun there, stopping the Fulch Grenadiers. And Panther rushing to the west there to halt the advances off indeed. But the issue 5 is almost ready here to take on the Panther. Almost. And there you go, Contra damage the engine, slowing down the Panther. And there we go, damage the engine. But the Veggie 2 is gained, shoots and added. Which basically in this case means it gets more armor and a bit more health. Also in this case, faster turret rotation. Enemy forces are attempting to capture our territory. Panther needs some priority repairs there. Stone Pani needs to get away on that, but they're all occupied here with the northeastern victory point. He's just focused on bleeding out his opponent. We got the issue to fight ready there, fourth indeed. Just being holding him here, machine gun now taking up position in the trench that Frost had laid down previously. Nice turnaround against Frost there by Fadid. But in this case, the trench collapses under heavy mortar fire, almost wiping out the heavy machine gun crew. And we got the Howitzer joining in as well there. Mines going down. They're finding in this case is laying down anti personnel mines. Not a bad idea. They're pretty cheap. And pretty much function like S mines. Can't get engaged. My Panther folks kind of these here in the west. We've got orbs on there, finding where the troops out in the open. If Ludwig there with a fire slot machine gun, though, that would be pretty much winning here, but uh, Ludwig for some reason... Oh, there you go, finally opens up. Issue 5 there, very slowly moving hit, but then very quickly moving away, backing away in fact. Panther finally going to get repaired there, but Frost was setting up a group headquarters there by his headquarters. And all of a sudden they're halted by the Indy 54 and managed by a few stoic Strafniki. He could probably follow up with the T-34 from 6 to help contain the infantry, and he's still got plenty of munitions, so again, he could easily consider more mines. He got well some here, in fact, he's laying down a lot of mines all over the place. They might also want to consider some regular mines, but can actually halt the panther a bit, you know, whatever you can do to stall the panther would be pretty good for indeed. So, I mean, it's great he's laying down anti-personnel mines, which most players neglect, but he should also remember to lay down some regular mines, so that way, you know, help stop the tank. Here's the pushing forwards. MD4 for up the folks gonna do is there. Panther moving ahead. And guns them down up close. They need to retreat. I mean they aren't like covers the are a bit hit hit hard to hit there for the Panther. But there you go, 85 gets a good hit there on the, the Panther now. Almost taken to Vetchin to one there. Second shot though bounces. And you further hit some of those S mines. And he also stole the M42 and rather than salvaging, which is a bit surprised. I just think he's salvaging. There's not really much reason to go for it as the Germans. Unless you're absolutely short. 
thing is Frost's got a Panther, so the M42 just seems like an odd choice there for Frost, to be honest, rather than just salvaging for extra fuel. Worst one's going off there. Unit wiped out, almost by the looks of it. Got Panther rushing in. Got artillery exploding all around the Findeed troops here in the west. Troops are suppressed, we got the Panther wing in again. Try and just run the moment, crash them, but uh, perhaps feels that might not be a great idea. There you go. Just flattens with it, and Findeed immediately treats his troops, rather than just having a rather sizable Russian pancake. But Frost now is really low on infantry. He needs to you now go for some more troops. And there you go, we got false kind of these, not say just more storm ponies, which he've also lost. In fact, he's got nothing to repair his panther with. Now, that could actually be an edge there for Vindeed if he realizes and seizes upon it against Frost. Because that really means the panther could may suddenly find himself out of the fight for quite some time. Because now he really can't replace it. Because again, he's got no spare parts of gold and can't fix it. So the panther's going to find himself in a pretty awkward position there. Which is not really what he wants to be, since it's pretty much, I think, the only thing that's really keeping Frost in this fight at the moment. How to fire there against the house? Hey, more to fire. We got the H5 there with the Panther. Penetrating hit there, almost went into one. Panther gets off a good hit as well. Another penetrating hit, and there you go. Veterans one for the H5. Panther down to half health, and again, he's got nothing to repair it with. And now we also got a tank out, so that really means the that Frost Panther is going to be in a precarious situation, which means Frost is in a precarious situation. We got the T-34 rolling up against the Orbital Darden. Nice move there. Trying to run around the might even try and push them into some of the mines. There you go. Dita sends one off there. We are down to 100 points. 14 kills, Veterans one there on the hard set. We got the Panther coming up here on the east side. He's gonna risk it nonetheless, a bit risky there, but there you go, good hit on the T-34. H-5 not moving up. There you go, goes in, but with the focus up, which does mean he can't quite react as fast there. Now the T-54 there for Fendeed, and the 7th Guard's rifle division. Does not pursue and state, just backs off here. Troops in him enforcing, he's got a ton of fuel, he's also got a ton of munition, but Fendeed also has got a ton of munition. Again, he could easily benefit from mines. Comes to the engaged by the Panther, and it's machine guns. 28. Hey, more to hit there, though, really takes the stuffing out of the conscripts. Eventually, two nine kills. We've got a machine gun bunker here as well for Frost. Good work, he's actually being quite. Oh, he's even using zeroing artillery. That's a pretty interesting one there. That's a pretty interesting one. I don't think uh, Finney is quite aware of what's going on there. If you can actually spot the people up there, they can actually take hits there. A lot of hard to fire just running down now. Sadly, they ended up doing a lot of nothing there for Frost, except just for his opponent back there for 300 minutes. It's a bit expensive for that, but uh, I guess if he just feels like a relief pressure, it might just be worth the price for Frost. Hey, Machine Gun there, covering up the Pang T-34. Panther still not getting repairs, I mean, Frost is really pushing his luck with that Panther. He's lucky that Fendeed isn't applying more pressure to it, it's just more actively hunting it down. Panther goes ahead and straight from the minefields. Again, this is where regular mines would be great versus the Panther. Again, that Panther hitting a mine would have been close to GG for Frost right then and there, for example. We got a T-54 to break through in the south. Not a bad idea there by Fendi. Now they should fire. They should get moving as well here. There we go. Flanks up. He rams it. He rams the Panther. Damages the engine. At the same time, a bit of blitz, but that quickly wears off. They should fire. They're not too fast enough here. Frost in this case. But close having a good trap pulled off there. It wasn't quite able to execute it fully. Pretty close though, pretty close. And right now though, Frost Panther is in a lot of trouble. There he goes, H-5 shoots. Doesn't quite seem to hit, we got the M42 firing there. Second shot misses, constantly being suppressed. Other T-54 moving in there, bypassing the M42. Panther moving up there. Need to get the T-54 some ticks away. Need to clear out the bank as well. Hey, more to the thing, push back. Issue 5 moves ahead. Panther sneaking up behind here. He's going to try and sneak in a hit there. Frost playing really high stakes game there. Almost got the T 34. Issue 5 shoots. Penetrates the Panthers almost down. This is going to be close. The Panthers have got 33 kills, almost 53. But it's so low on health. There's a T 34 waiting for there. You go. Fultz gets moving up with a Panther Faust. Bunker goes down, but the T 34 also goes down. 
Each of the five close to Vincent need two. Frosty and Kutmar are trying to find. There we go. Howard to point blank to try and shatter their Fin Deeds assault. There we go. Gets a good hit there. Heavy Mortals landing on the Conch as well. And Fin Deed just rapidly disengages, allowing the Panther to survive. And he's finally got some Storm Pioneers up there as well. Frost. That was a really close shave there for Frost. A really close shave. Indeed, though, he's still floating a ton of munitions. He's still not really laid down any mines, which could backfire on him after that assault there. He's recruiting the anti-tank, but just losing the engineers. We've got Orbison moving ahead there. Pulling in the Panther a bit further back there before trying to enact repairs. We've got a fresh T-34 from 6 on the way for Indeed. Got a smoke screen down there, I think, from Frost. Basically covered the area here. Interesting. H5 looks like he's probably expecting to try and pull back the Panther free. He's going to try and set up there to sort of gauge it here. But the problem is, he's keeping around here between the two houses. Basically not trying to expose it, just get it fixed fast. In this case, it works out that he tried to pull it further back. He might actually spotted by the H5 and then knocked out. Almost got the heavy mortar crew there. Here, almost on versus penal troopers. They need to retreat. 32 kills on those, by the way. And there you go. Gets a wipe. 32, 24. Those virtually three penal troopers there with sharp machine guns are absolutely lethal. Absolutely lethal. Got the T-34 and 6 moving ahead there for indeed. Penal troopers there being suppressed. Fixing up the Panther. He's going for it, but at this point he's going to have a nasty surprise and... Close. There you go. Panther good to go. And super close to Vetsu 3. Increased rate of fire and increased mobility. That's going to be a real problem there for Indeed to deal with if it hits that. We've got another truck up there. Might be a square punch quarters there for Frost. Panther moves ahead. Machine guns pouring down bullets at the advancing Russian infantry. In this case, retreating Russian infantry. And you've got to turn about there. Want to turn about a bit, but no. Not for frost. Not for frost. Oh, Issue five hanging back. They're very close to it. I mean, if you get it to V2, though, that's going to help him a lot there. Since it does increase the penetration, it means that the Panther is going to be a lot less great versus in some sense. I mean, he's still going to have a lot of firepower, but its armor is going to be less of an issue there for frost. There you go. He actually crushes the machine gun crew there, but it looks a bit. With the Panther, 38 kills. H5 gets good to be going to get Betsy 3 as well. There we go. Increased rate of fire, increased mobility. And Betsy 2 on the H5. Victory point here being secured by Frost men. Out of the 5th SS. Need to get that Panther fixed. Troops ring about back and forth. Truck setting up here. By the looks of it, could be a spare punch towards the cover the victory point here. And of course, providing him with more orbital Darden and possibly more tanks. Like I say, another Panther. We got Tilly raining up. This time it's actually flying to the base, in this case less great, or blind fire, but it is virtually too. Penal Troop MD-34, they're pushing back the first gun of these from the northeastern victory point. And there goes Schwer punted quarters for Frost, number two. And for has got 500 munitions, he could really, really benefit from a ton of mines there against Frost. But still isn't quite going for it. Panther just engaging penal troopers there. He could allow to shoot an infantry just to get a bit more simple usage out of the turret and guns. Ryan just relying on the Panther map machine gun there. Another T-34 there for Findeed versus Frost. Contest flanking in there. Steals back the Dusk machine gun right under Frost's nose. And Shrap Hunter Gord's almost down there for him. In this case, he can pretty quickly go for another Panther. He wants to have a Panther IV. We'll have to see what it is Frost aims for here. Panther V or Panther IV. H5 creeps ahead with this 85mm gun of death. There's no sign of anything from Frost. Sturm Pani says supported by the Panther by the Northeastern Victory Point. We got a counterattack though by a large penal force. 
and he in fact leaves the steel punish on only this machine gun and the penal troops bring the Panthers dead down here to deal with the issue of five pressure in the south we actually got a mine mech good just wish there had been more mines there from Vendid Panther moves ahead there eventually see again Fox is going up there the Panther first mine goes off damage no that doesn't but there you go still H5 they're in a lot of trouble. Panther there, half eight have veterans before now. It's prioritizing here the H5, but there you go. Panther's T54 trying to flank the Panther. Quickly building up some distance there. He's, he's keeping the front there. Good, good, good. T54 just need to break off now. They do not stand a chance there. There's the veteran Panther from the front. And certainly not a range. In fact, he's almost got the Panther up to veteran 4 We got another Panther on the way there for Frost. Shots flying all over the place. Bottom moving against the MG34 there. Second Panther slowly being made. And there goes going after the HF5. There go good penetrating. There go. We got Vetchin 4 for the Panther. Increased range and accuracy. Another penetrating. There go. Gets Vetchin 3. But before it can celebrate, the Panther knocks it out. Setting up there for 40 kills on the Panther. Almost 8 status. We got a T34 going. He's trying to push in. Damage T34 versus the Panther from the front at max range. And now the Panther really has the advantage there. An absolutely reckless assault there by Fee. Indeed spurred by grief over the loss of his ace tank to our crew. He pushes them to the limit only to see them die. I mean, he's still got, you know, Frost in the sense contained, but again, there's not enough munition. He's not just laying down mines to make it harder for Frost to push out than use the mobility of his Panther. And again, it's almost halfway to Veteran 5. Yeah, bad news there for Findeed. He's just lost all of his armored force here. Now we got a second Panther out there for Frost, which at this point is largely going to cement there his armor superiority. And again, the lack of mines from Findeed rather means again he can use them pretty much freely. Got a quick flank hit, but in this case, hold it by uh, both Fair Panther quarters and the MD 34 crew. Oh, that's a nice attempt at flank there by Findeed. A nice attempt at flank. Panther engaging up closer to the machine gun crew. Got the veteran pants of the crew. Almost A status there ahead. Got another issue to fire there. Ready to engage more fascist tanks. And a good, good hit. Half eight to veteran to one. But we got the ace, or almost ace there. Semi ace. Going ahead. Almost got the heavy machine gun through there. It's now being forced to push back the park using the German supported uh, Duska. There we go. Gating the issue 5 from up close, but there you go. Kanska's blocking off the path. And damage engine, but there you go. Almost, Vetchley 5, almost. Second Panther misses. Kanska's out there taking heavy fire from the machine guns. But again, considering how they are, nope, they're taking some press and a little damage from the Vetchley 4. Panthers machine guns. There you go. It's going to be the old one straight for the H5 there, but almost going to lose it. Almost going to lose it. Careful, Frost 4 6. It's been up the H4 there. Main gun destroyed. Oh, shite. He almost knocked out his own Panther there. Shoots the other one. Prioritizes the one that actually can kill him. There you go. Gets it. So close to Vetchley 5. Just a bit more machine gun damage. Other Panther heavily damaged, we've got a T-Fit on the way there for Findeed. This is again where mines would have been great, had he tried to attack into a minefield there. That could have been GG for Frost. And to tank it, there we go, Vetchley 5, it is now officially an ace with 44 kills. Panther rolling back here, Sturm Pilots, we have to try and repair those Panthers, those heavily damaged Panthers. Five vehicles, 39 infantrymen have died to that Panther. Pretty sure that's at least Iron Cross first class material there. Fox again here, the Stafniki. Got a Panther 4 there to support Frost. Salute fire there, another T 54 for Fendit and the 7th Guards Rival Division. Got another truck there for Frost. Panthers rolling back. Bit of defensive fighting here. Going in there. 
Again, straight on to the Panthers. See again the Veteran 5, it's not a good idea. Oh, he downs it. Oh, he gets the Panther, he gets the Panther, but not the Ace. Panther fast, they're off. And there it goes, second T-34 down. Second T-34 down. And there we go, we got GG, we got GG. Game over. Game over. A brutal spectacle here in the balance period mod. Some uh, rather ace Panther play here from Frost. Some very highly performing penal troopers there from Findeed. I mean, 37 kills. That's quite heavy there for Russian infantry. But also some good play. I mean, overall, I think the issue with Findeed again was the mission float. The lack of mines. Again, mines versus Panthers like that are great. So I think that's one of the issues there for Findeed. Also, time and some slightly awkward decision there against Frost. I would also say Frost made some pretty good decision, made some pretty good defensive play, good use of the artillery. And certainly, again, that Panther, I think, really was a key here for Frost in actually winning this engagement. It could have been from more Orbital Darden, but uh, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this match. I hope you learned something from it. Also, a big thanks to Huang for donating to the uh, propaganda cast and supporting the war effort. Most appreciated. Big thanks to you. But otherwise, you know, hope you liked it. Did. Subscribe, like, share, and comment on it. This is Imperial Lane signing off, and see you all tomorrow for another signing episode. Cheers.